Hello, everyone. This is Latia for you coming today with another scripture from the Lord. We are in Romans chapter 2, verse 3. Acts chapter 2, verse 17, and Lamentations chapter 4, verse 11. Let's go ahead and pray and we can get started. Thank you, Father God, for this word. Thank you for strength to endure. Thank you for a little strength, Lord God. We love you. We praise you. We thank you for your word. It's, it, it helps us every day. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, you guys, Romans chapter two, verse three. Do you suppose, O oh man, you who judge those who practice such things and yet do them yourself, that you will escape the judgment of God? All right, and so the key is not just like what the things that they were doing, right? Because it was it was a bunch of stuff that he was like, yeah, these are not going to enter, inherit the kingdom of God, right? All these things. And he gave like a long list. But the thing is, it says, do you suppose, oh man, you who judge those who practice such things and yet do them yourself, right? So you're, you're, you think that you're not doing it um, maybe because you don't do it as often or you it's disguised as something else and yet you're judging other people over here remember if you judge others you're going to be subject to judgment right we don't want to judge other people we don't want to come um to them and and condemn them because God didn't condemn us. We have Christ, right? And so we don't need to walk around in judgment and we don't need to walk around in the practice of, of things that God considers abominable or detestable, right? God wants us to have freedom. He wants us to be free from the bondage of sin, right? Not practicing sin that God considers wicked. You can't make straight what God has made crooked as the last um, the last scripture talked about, right? We, we have to, um, consider the fact that, you know, if you are in that bondage, you need to be free, right? You need to ask Holy Spirit to free you, ask Christ to free you from whatever it is that you feel that you might be in bondage to, and especially not point the finger at other people who may be um going through the same thing or or going through it and it's veiled in a way kind of like what they say with murder right where yeah you're not a murderer of a body of a person right but you may be murdering someone in their character right so don't be so quick to jump and say I'm not I'm not but, you know, you're doing this in other ways, right? And so also don't judge at all, right? Don't judge. Don't judge because you're going to be subject to judgment if you judge, right? So let the word of God speak for itself, right? And and let God be the judge, all right, Acts chapter two, verse 17 is the second verse. And in the last days, it shall be, God declares, that I will pour out my spirit on all flesh and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy and your young men shall see visions and your old men shall dream dreams. So there's gonna be dreams, visions, prophecy, the spirit of God will be moving in the last days, right? And so God has clearly made this happen, right? Not just with me or or two people you know. This is something that is like wildfire right now, right? And And just like it started, the beginning of those last days started, with the pouring out of the spirit um, uh, on Pentecost, right? In that same way, it has rapidly increased until this day, right? And so now you can go on YouTube and you can type in, I had a dream of the rapture and like, you're going to get 18 million <laughs> dreams. Not all of those dreams are from God, 
but you can see the movement of the Holy Spirit even by the perpetuation of the counterfeit, right? Because the counterfeit is going to come to try to distract from what is actually happening. So that counterfeit is actually confirmation that God is doing this thing, right? So we would know, we we uh, take whatever we hear and we hold it up to the standard of the word of God, right? And we say, hey, this is what the word says. This is an alignment or this is not in alignment with the word of God. And so, you know, we don't need to judge people who are, are on there telling their dreams. We don't need to come against them in any way. Why? Because we don't want to be judged. We let God handle that, right? We let God be the judge of that thing and not us, right? Because we don't want to not realize that you're doing something over here on the side and you don't even realize you, you just condemned yourself when you judge that person, right? So make sure you leave the judging to God. Um, his spirit is pouring out in these last days. His spirit is pouring out. His spirit is overflowing from heaven. And, and we need to be open to that. We need to be open to be used by Holy Spirit. We don't need to close ourselves down and shut ourselves down and say, hey, that's not the way my denomination does it right? You need to be open to what Holy Spirit is doing because these are the last days. Um, Lamentations chapter four, verse 11, the Lord gave full vent to his wrath. He poured out his hot anger and he kindled a fire in Zion that consumed its foundations. Wow. It consumed the foundations of Zion? Yes, it consumed even the foundations of of the holy places, right? God is about to make all things new. But before he makes all things new, he's going to pour out his wrath on this earth and the people that are in it. We do not want to be there for that. We do not want to be a part of that. We want to accept that love and that grace right now while it is still here. We want to accept the use of the Holy Spirit and not grieve the Holy Spirit while he is still here. We want to do the will of the Father while we still can. Amen. Come under the righteous covering of Christ Jesus by his blood. Do his will. Amen. Stop putting your will first. Do the will of the Father. Um, when we are walking in judgment, right? When we are walking in a, a way of condemnation, you are condemning yourself. Don't condemn yourself. And and some people are so quick to say, oh, but we're supposed to judge. Da, 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 da. Okay, there are exceptions, but the vast rule always states that you, we need to stay out of that area of judgment. Now, when Holy Spirit tells you, okay, now this is the exception, that's when you move on that. Not by your flesh, but when Holy Spirit shines the light on something, it says, okay, now I need you to, to speak on this thing, right? Not just going willy nilly um, um off the in your tongue is saying all kinds of things and you have not vetted it against holy spirit right we're not led by our flesh we are led by the spirit of the living god he is going to be the judge jesus is going to be the judge right don't be so quick to judge people because you don't know what you're doing that might be just like that and you don't even see it, right? You, you're walking right past it. You're not hearing Holy Spirit when Holy Spirit is saying that. And so we need to be careful of that. We need to be cognizant of that. We need to realize these are the last days he's pouring out his spirit on all flesh, and, and we need to allow God to have his way in this earth. And we're not the, the judge of what can go and what can't go, right? We're, we let God deal with that, right? Because God is about to pour out his anger so much though that it is going to destroy the foundations 
um, of, of things that we thought were indestructible, right? God is going to make sure that he shows us that he is God and he's the judge. Amen. All right, you guys, let's pray. Father God, have mercy on us. Have mercy on us in these last days. Forgive us of our sins, the role that we have played in this thing, God. Forgive us for anything where we have led anyone astray or where we have talked about people, slandered them with our tongue, Lord God, and and judged them. Lord God, forgive us for judging other people, Lord God. Help us to walk in the freedom of your grace, of your forgiveness, Lord God, and help us to spread your love and your light to other people and not a spirit of condemnation towards other people. Lord God, help us to disciple people and show them how to follow you, Holy Spirit. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. All right, you guys, take care and be blessed.